he picked Misaka. Yeah, I've been playing her the last like five, six months. I don't play Kuroko anymore. I like I like uh, this railgun girl because she gets to do things in neutral. Oh, so like, you like you, the range she has. Yeah, I like the I like her more active playstyle. Okay. I felt like Kuroko is too close range. Anyway, it's not about me, bro. It's not about me. It's about these players who are coming up. We got Young. Yokai, straight AP, and who is the opponent? I'm not familiar with this player. Uh, looks like it's Salty. I don't know who oh, Salty is. Oh, Salty, okay. I mean, oh, uh, right here, right here. Oh, okay, I see it on screen. Okay. So, uh, Salty's playing Tatsuya with Dokuro. Oh, Can't this is, uh, I mean, Dokuro's good with everything. Yeah. Right. Um, hmm. Looks like Yokai going back to Emmy. Yeah, Emmy the tried and true. Used to, was trying out uh, Asuna for a while. Yeah. It looks like just vibes with Emmy, you know? Phone center worker, whatever. Nice left, right. We got plates, we got extenders. One more could do it. What is Salty gonna do? Defense is blocking, but try to mash. Ah, he got hit by the overhead. Mm -hmm. The low got popped over, and that is it. That's a perfect. What do you think about that, Willie? Uh, well, I think Salty looks pretty new to this game. I mean, I've been playing for like two years, dude. I looked like I was new. It's okay. This game is just like that sometimes, you know? Oh, no. Oh, nice oh, 2AB, 2AB, though. 2AB is really cool. Like, Tatsuya's 2AB is probably one of the best in the game. Yeah. I did not know that destroys projectiles. Oh, that's going to get grabbed. Yeah. Could he have checked that? Probably. It didn't seem like a counter hit grab. Because I'm like, you know, not all blue trumps are created equal. Like, they all have different uh, recovery or whatever. Yep. Even though they stop time, they do have recovery, which is weird. Looks like uh, Salty is push blocking with 8-2-A-B. So maybe Yokai could try to bait that out. Like do like a little string and then just block and see. bait out the DP. Mm -hmm. He can oh, also damn. use uh, Iria assist, try and bait out the DP. I mean, bait out the push block and then trap him with the motorcycle. Okay. All right, let's go. Combo blast into Climax and this should be game. You think so? Yeah, okay. he burned the one. Let's go. Let's go. Shirley P. Shirley P. AKA Yokai of the lo fi variety. Yep. So, how do you feel, Willie? I mean, we got the bright lights on us. You can see all our pores on camera. Even on, when you're playing, it, you're, like, you're on stage. We have a nice big stage here. I mean, crossover art. We esports, baby. I'm a I'm a local boy. I don't I don't go to uh, big cities like this, you know. I know, like coming out to Manhattan was quite a quite a feat. We're so used to coming out to Brooklyn. Yeah. But this is like you know we got the extra venue. Oh, the plate interrupted yeah. his two AB. Yeah, that was nice from from Yokai to recognize that. Oh, that's gonna be punished. Uh, okay, he has pressure. Uh, the early escape blast. So if you're new to this game, you should probably. You know, Willie, you can talk about it, right? You know, meter management, etc. Oh, yes. like, Me meter management and resource management. It's like if you escape blast early, your blast comes back very slowly. So you look at Salty's meter right now, you see how it's charging up. It's it's pretty unfavorable. Generally, you want to... You can spend your burst in different ways in this yes. game. So early in the round one, you want to use it to power blast, which is a way to gain meter. Yes. And so, uh, meter is pretty important in this game. Uh huh. It lets you most of the, for most characters. It lets you uh, gives you a two point neutral, gives you a combo extender. It also yeah, you gives need you, it. it. Also gives you a big meter dump for damage. Yeah, because if you don't have meter, you're generally doing very low damage. Yes. Like, no one really does good like meterless damage. You need to spend resources. So the whole point of this game is like a juggling act between playing neutral, going offensive, and or defensive, and uh, juggling your resources. Yeah, pretty much. Like if both players manage their resources well, it always goes to round three, like yes. give or take. Like unless there's like a big difference in skill or something really unfortunate happens, you're generally always going to see three rounds. Or someone with a red trump pulls a funny gimmick. Or or I play. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, that should be game for Yokai. Quick 2 0. Shout out to Mouse. I see you, Mouse. See me in Kirby Air Ride. Wow, Kirby Air Ride. Uh, I won't talk about that any further. <laughs> that game is cursed. No one ever played that ever. All right, so nice. We got the debut of Salty. Let's see if Salty will come through again to our next local. We have a. 
So, you know, we're doing crossover arc this weekend, today and tomorrow. Yeah. But, you know, Lunar Phase, man, next week. Next oh, week. Oh, I love you, Datagram. You're the best. <laughs> like, Datagram is so good at this. Was that planned? Was that planned? Talk to me, bro. You, you don't got a mic? I, I just, I got ears. Uh, he, got, he has ears. He has ears. <laughs> uh, a nice transition. <laughs> Check it out. But I like this poster, man. I like the purple. You like the purple, Willie? Yeah, purple is yeah, one of my favorite out. colors. Saturday, March 26th. We're adding 